So LifePod is my attempt to put a dwelling together that has a full-size mattress, a shower, a compost toilet, a kitchen sink and kitchenette, and microwave oven, basically all the things that you need to live and survive for a significant period of time on a jet ski trailer so that it could be hauled anywhere by a regular car with uh, the potential to actually become a off-the-grid self-sustaining unit uh, with the use of solar panels. Well, number one, it was a creative expression. So uh, even though I'm an engineer with 32 years experience, I've always been an artist and I think I went into engineering for the job security. So starting two years ago, I started building things uh, inspired mostly by Buckminster Fuller. Inspired by the tiny home movement, I wanted to see if I could build my own version of that, but build the most house, if you will, where I did not exceed the capacity of a jet ski trailer, which is 1,500 pounds. So this contraption made of two domes connected to a cylinder is my way of taking uh, not only a, a product or a thing or a dwelling, but it's also an experience that I can bring and share with people and talk to them about, uh, do you think this thing has value? Did it do what I thought it would? Uh, what do you like about it? What do you not like about it? And it's actually a stepping stone to a next thing, which is a, a net zero uh, affordable house. LifePod has four potential customers. Um, it can be an emergency relief vehicle for something like a flood or a hurricane. It can be a shelter for homeless. Um, it also suits the needs of outdoor enthusiasts, hunters and fishermen who want to have a little place out maybe uh, where they hunt and they can have a little getaway or man cave kind of thing. And then for the multitude of baby boomers who, are, who now have free time and are enjoying retirement, uh, it's a way for them to consider having a place to stay and go see America or whatever they want to do. LifePod is also here to inspire uh, especially young people or people who are disadvantaged that are looking for affordable housing. So they can see that one person can go and buy common things and make a dwelling uh, that they can use at least short term. When art and science come together along with nature, we, we achieve our greatest solutions.